Hello friends, we are really happy to announce you that Material Conceptual Study has decided to start a complete course on physical metallurgy just to make your concept stronger than ever before. So let's start this course by defining the term physical metallurgy. Physical metallurgy is one of the broad category of metallurgy. The second one is the chemical metallurgy which is chiefly concerned with the reduction and oxidation of metals and their overall chemical performance. But the physical metallurgy is a branch of material science that especially focuses on the relationship between the composition of materials, their processing technique, their crystal structure that eventually affects the microstructure and its physical properties that it includes thermal properties, magnetic properties, electric properties and it also includes the mechanical properties that includes strength, hardness and toughness. So the knowledge of physical metallurgy allows us to identify, control and vary the properties of materials as per the mankind requirement. Properties of materials can be altered in different ways. Let me show you some examples. Let's say we have plain carbon steel which is an alloy of iron and carbon. Adjusting the carbon content is the simplest way to change the mechanical properties of steel. This graph clearly shows how the plain carbon steel is changing its hardness, tensile strength and yield strength as the carbon content is increasing. One of the main reasons for the change in its mechanical properties is that its microscopic structure changes with the increase in carbon content. As the microscopic structure changes, it brings changes in its mechanical properties as well as its physical properties. So the study of microstructure is really important to understand the behavior of materials. In this module, we will learn how we can study the microstructure of materi materials by utilizing optical and scanning electron microscopy techniques. The change in composition of materials can also change their crystal structure which eventually affects the properties of materials. For example, when pure iron is solidified, its crystal structure will consist of body centered cubic. But if we add chromium from 2 to 18 percent by weight and at least 8 percent nickel then its crystal structure will consist of face centered cubic which is known as austenitic steel because of this change in crystal structure its mechanical and physical properties will change entirely for example this material will become magnetic to non-magnetic and metal to ductile and less corrosion resistant to more corrosion resistant. So the strong knowledge of crystal systems is really necessary to have better understanding about the behavior of materials. To find the crystal structure, we often utilize the X-ray diffraction technique in which we incident the characteristics x-rays on materials and record the scattered x-ray beam whose study allows us to identify the crystalline arrangement of atoms like whether the crystalline arrangement is body centered cubic or face centered cubic or hexagonal closed path structure so by utilizing the x-ray diffraction technique we can identify the crystal structure of materials because materials can adopt any of the 14 possible crystalline arrangement and these are unique three dimensional arrangement of lattice points which is known as the Bravis lattices. These three dimensional crystalline arrangement of atoms inside the materials can be identified using Lowe diffraction technique and the scattered area electron diffraction technique. These are important material characterization technique that gives us lots of information about the crystal structure. To interpret their results, we must have better understanding about stereographic projections and symmetry of elements. That's why the study of stereographic projections and the symmetry of elements have great importance in material characterization and we will have a detailed discussion on these topics in this module.